Welcome back to the channel, y'all. We get the van moved in yesterday. Come a storm through here. Tornado actually went through a town and ripped town up where my daughter lives, my grandson, son-in-law, and uh, his family and a lot of my kids' family. Thank God they was all safe, sound, storm jumped over, the tornado did. But it tore up a lot of people's stuff, houses. So, uh, everybody over there, I'm, you're in my prayers. But we're going to get working on this old tick turd today. Get the time to chain in, try to get it going, try to get it fired up. Let me show y'all the, let me show you some of the inside of this old thing. Since we got it cleaned out, got all the parts out of it, and at least doors are blowing the wind. So we're going to try to fix that. All right, guys. Get these cam gears busted off. There we go. One cam gear and time and change. Now we've got to get the gear off the crankshaft. Get her put back together. Squirt a little fuel in the car. Oh yeah, I got to put a scooter in. And uh, see if we can get this old tick turd fired. See if we can make a run, guys. Let me get the parts. Get right back. Alright, guys. We got the new timing chain in, gears in, all that good stuff. Fixing the set the distributor in. Get it where it needs to be. Uh, uh. And see if we can get this old tick turd fired up. That's right, that's right. I mean, we can't have a hippie van if it don't run, now can we? And if it don't run, I'm just going to strip her. Anybody need parts, let me know if it don't run. The seats I'm going to put in Clifford. But I'm thinking she's going to run. Well, the seats and the bed I'm going to put in Clifford. If it don't run. But anybody else out there restoring a van, if you need parts, if it don't run, just watch the video to the end. You have to see if it runs or not. And, uh, you know, my house parts for you, I don't know. Let's get this distributor put in. All right, guys, we got those distributor put in. I just waiting on old Nick and Luke to get back with some gasoline. Pour a little gasoline, that old carburetor. Mm-hmm. And old hippie van. See if we can get this old tick turd fire up, guys. Once they get back, pour a little gas in the car. What's that stinks in here? I need a cotton mouth or nothing in there. I'm gonna tell them what's in this van. I need seats. Hmm. I don't think I crap myself. Well, I hope not. Everybody's done crap, uh, hoarded all the toilet paper. No, I didn't. But yeah, they get back, we're gonna. Pour a little gas in the carb, see if we can get this old thing fired up. Hopefully it runs. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. But if it does, and I get it all put back together, anybody in the market for a good van? You know, for the uh, apocalypse that's going down, it's going to happen. I'll probably take, uh, I don't know. Couple cases of toilet paper, some Lysol, and a Big Mac. You know, I think that's a good deal. I think that's a good deal, guys. Real good deal.
Well, throw me in something a little extra too, though, you know, sweet the deal, you know. Because, I mean, you're going to have home on wheels here. You know, you got all the seats. Pull, hell, you can pull them seats out and put them up on top. How you kids lighting up there with the guns, you know, shotguns and stuff. You got the bed back there for you and mama or, or whatever, you know. I mean, or you, you know, who knows? You, you might have a boyfriend. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, you got all that. Make good park looks vehicle. Of course, you might want to put some bigger wheels and tires on it. Cut the fenders out, all that good stuff. You know, that way you can ride over dead bodies and everything. You know, from all this coronavirus. Well, here they are back with the gas. Let's put some gas in the carburetor and let's see if we can get it fired up. What y'all say? Let's do it. All right, guys, let's try this. That ain't it. I have to know going out to try. Alright guys, second attempt at starting it. Oh wait. Well. We ain't getting no fire out of the distributor. And I thought it might be the uh, electronic spark control, so I bypassed it. Just tie A and C wires together. But that ain't it, so it's probably gonna be cool. So we'll go ahead and take the distributor cap off and check everything out in there real fast. See what that's all about. Hang on a second, guys. Well, I still don't think it's firing, so, I mean, even with the, uh, Timing chain having all the slack it had, it was still timing marks lined up. I think what happened was the coil quit. I thought maybe it was just the ECS, ESC, or whatever, yeah, ECS, whatever. So I bypassed it. But I put a plug right here and this plug wire, and we're going to see if it fires, which I don't believe it's going to. Nope. So we're gonna change the coil out, but it's about to get dark on me. And I gotta get home, get cleaned up, eat, supper, all that good stuff, and uh get ready for work tomorrow. So uh tomorrow guys, I guess when I get off work, I'll change the coil out. We'll see if we can get this old tick tired of going. But that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry, we didn't get it going today, guys, but we tried. I mean we got we already had new time and training gears and everything because it come with a van, so I went ahead and swapped it out while it's tore down. I mean, that's totally the smartest thing to do. This seen a freaking wasp over somewhere. I don't know where he went. I was in on my pants leg. He was down low. As long as he didn't go up my pants leg, boy, that'd be bad. But, uh, yeah, I'll get it changed out tomorrow and see if that works. That's work. See if we can get her going. Hopefully we can. I mean, it's turning over good. I mean, besides the battery being weak. But we ain't getting no spark out of distributor whatsoever. We're getting fired to the distributor. It's not coming out. So I'm going to say it's cool. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, y'all. Go ahead and hit the like button. If you would, please. That would make me very happy. I mean, I'm doing this content for you guys. May not be the most exciting content right now, but... It's gonna get better, especially when we get her running. And what I got in store for the square body, definitely wanna stick around for it. But uh, yeah, guess I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. Stay safe guys, take care of each other, later.